Hey, this is Kristen Farmer Hall with Baking Bandits from Birmingham, Alabama. And we just want to give you a little inside scoop into what our life looks like for Baking Bandits. This is the nest, our event space, located in Avondale, which is a tiny neighborhood in Birmingham. We also bake here, so we're going to take you back to the kitchen and create a Chilton County Peach Galette, which is the best of summer. Well, welcome to the Baking Bandits kitchen. This is where we spend our day creating scones and muffins, tarts, savory galettes and quiches for our wholesale clients and for our farmer's market. Um, it's kind of small right now, but we're excited to announce that we'll be moving into a new retail location in about six or eight weeks. And then we will have um, a bakery production kitchen. Right now we really like to have a convection oven, some speed racks, a few prep tables, and um, our supplies, and then we spend our day here. on camera. Perfect. So today I'm going to make um, a peach galette from Chilton County Peaches, which is a county in southern Alabama that makes really the best peaches, grows the best peaches on the planet. Um, we're going to start with pate brise that we have made um, and chilled in the fridge overnight. And then I'm going to roll it out and we're going to create just a really nice simple um, peach and streusel galette. Now that our pastry's been rolled out, we're gonna chill it for about 15 minutes in the fridge while we prep the peaches and the streusel. So while our pastry crust is chilling in the fridge, we're gonna prep these peaches. Um, and this is a simple summer galette. And so we have Chilton County peaches, which are um, really soft, really sweet. So we're not gonna do very much to them. We're just gonna go ahead and cut them into slices. We're actually gonna leave the skin on, which is perfectly fine for this galette. Um, and then we're going to layer them in the tart, um, add a little bit of streusel and some apricot jam, and um, we're going to bake it. So we're just going to slice these and get to layering. pastry is chilled, we're going to layer the base with some um, apricot preserves that have been thickened with a little bit of potato starch. You can also use flour, cornstarch, or other thickeners, but I really prefer potato starch because I think it adds a nice um, base without getting a little too gummy. So we're going to layer just a little bit on the bottom of the tart, and then that's going to catch all the extra juice that's going to come off of the peaches um, so that our tart crust still stays nice and firm.
now we're gonna take these beautiful peaches that we have just cut up and we're just gonna layer them a little bit, kind of fan them through this tart. And you can use all different kinds of fruit. Right now we're using peaches because they're in season. You can use blackberries or blueberries. You know, in the early spring, we like to use strawberries. Um, really, it's a very versatile recipe and a very versatile crust. So you can continue to kind of change things with the season. Uh, we also use it for our, our savory pastry as well. So this is a good one to learn and get used to. And now I'm going to take an egg wash, which is just one beaten egg with a little pinch of salt, and I'm going to egg wash around the, the base, and then we'll egg wash over the top. And one of the things that I like to do um, when layering the galettes is go ahead and place it on a pastry sheet or on a cookie sheet um, with some parchment paper because it makes it much easier with, to not have to transfer it. So it's one of the things that I like to do. And with a galette, it's really a free-form pastry, so just gather the crust around. Like so. And then we're gonna wash, egg wash the top again, and then I like to add a really nice um, amount of raw sugar, which is gonna add a lot of texture and a lot of color to the tart, which is really beautiful. layers so everything stays nice and together. Excellent. And then a lot of raw sugar. freezer and let the pastry set for about 15 minutes and then we're going to put it in an oven at 425 um, for about 10 minutes to go ahead and crisp up that crust and then we're going to turn down the oven to 350 and let the peaches get all nice and happy. So now that our galette is properly chilled we're going to put it in the oven at 425 for 10 minutes and we're going to check on it and then turn it down to 350. Well there you have it a perfectly rustic peach galette. Um, you can serve this, do that again. <laughs> 